Welcome to the, our Crant Sellers Report for the month of April. We want to thank you for joining us. Uh, hope to present some information that you'll find useful in this video. Believe it or not, the year is one-third over. And uh, we're at a very interesting time in our current market. For about the last two years, our market has remained virtually unchanged as far as the number of sales and the transactions and the volume. This year is pretty close to last year. Interestingly enough, our experts at REMAX predict that the next two years are going to be virtually the same as what we've seen. So if you think about that, we're in a five-year cycle, and when we hit July 1st of this year, we'll be exactly halfway through that. However, the number today is 15, because this year versus last year, at least through the first four months, We've seen an increase of about 15% on the total number of sales as well as the volume. 100 million in total volume in our MLS this year versus 85 last year. The other good thing is we've seen a 15% in a, a decrease in new listings. And this is important. The less that a buyer has to choose from eventually will drive our prices back up. Currently, right now, that's part of our dilemma. There's, there's just so much inventory, and a buyer is like a kid in a candy store. They have a lot to choose from. 25% is the number that we're seeing for our increase in showings this year versus last year. Some of that may be weather-related uh, because of such the mild winter we had. We'll see if that number holds for the rest of the year. I'd like to talk a little bit about what we think is going to happen the rest of this year and also uh, I want you to think about our year is divided into three trimesters and for the ladies out there who've had children you know all about trimesters. So we've completed the first trimester January through April. April. The second will last from May through September or August and then from September through December for the third trimester. Here's why this is important. In condos, we saw 104 condo sales last year in the first trimester. And in the second trimester, we had 197 sales, almost two to one. And then we had about 135 sales for the third trimester, or about 30% less. Homes followed the same pattern many more sales in the second trimester and here's why that's important. We are the beginning stages of the second trimester for 2012. It's time to sell your property in this period of time. This is when we have the most buyers to work with. This is when they're spending the most money for the year. If you like to gamble like I do, you understand odds. Our odds are two to one that we will sell more property right now than we have or about three to two that we're going to sell more than we do in the third trimester. Uh, you may ask what's it going to take to sell my place and that's a good question. We get to ask that a lot as you can imagine. Overwhelmingly price is still the biggest consideration for buyers for their purchasing at the lake today. We don't expect that to change, probably not for another two and a half years. I would encourage you to think about what it's going to cost to, uh, to you for taxes, insurance, interest, what you can do with the money, and put a lot of thought into that number on what you're going to spend in the next two and a half years. You might find it is in your best interest to lower your price and get a sale, especially now versus later, as we don't expect prices to see much change in the next two and a half years. I hope this has been beneficial. We thank you for joining us. As I say, the year is looking very good compared to what we've seen. We hope that it continues, and we look forward to seeing you very soon at Lake of the Ozarks. Thank you.